guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nay or Renee. If you're new, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be all about the moon and manifesting. I am so excited to film this video because this is something new for me. I know that there's a full moon this Friday for me and I was like, you know, I'm going to try this out. But little did I know you can manifest and create rituals for yourself for every single phase of the moon. It is so interesting. I just sat down and researched so much stuff about this. So I'm going to share with you guys each of the phases of the moon and what you can do to manifest your desires for each phase as well as what you will need. So why do people manifest with the moon? Manifesting with the moon takes the energy and the vibration from the moon phases and uses it with your spiritual self to kind of manifest and accelerate your manifestations. It's kind of like your own little spiritual therapy. Something that I personally, if someone told me about quite a while ago, I would be like, oh, like that's like something to do with like witches and stuff, but it really isn't. Um, you go through all the different phases of the moon and you really dive deep into your manifestations in order to accelerate them and make them happen faster. So the first thing I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is the essentials that you will need to manifest with the moon. I've read that anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes is a really good timing. It all depends on your preference. I would give myself a little bit more time, so 20 to 30, maybe 45 minutes. Something else that's really important is a fresh piece of paper or a journal. You can dedicate this journal to your moon manifestations, as well as a pen or a pencil. Something else that I find is anything that helps you visualize your goals, whether that's a vision board, um, a specific journal that you've already journaled in. Something else that can really help is really calming and soothing music. You can probably go on Spotify and type in moon rituals, maybe meditating music or something like that. Something else really interesting that I read is that if you incorporate something that has to do with the four elements, that's a great thing to bring into your space. Four elements are fire, air, water, and earth. Something that you can do for fire is obviously burn a candle. Something you could do for air is maybe opening your windows or putting a wind chime outside. Something you could do for water is maybe do this in the bathtub or bring ocean water like in a cup or something. You can also do like an essential oil diffuser. And then for earth you can bring anything like a plant or like a rock or a crystal. So when it comes to crystal stones and essential oils, there are some combinations of the two that can help you increase your manifestation powers and specifically to what you are manifesting. So the first one is an amethyst and lavender oil. This really helps calm you and improves your trust in the universe. If you're trying to release something, it really clarifies your space, it protects you. Another combination would be citrine and wild orange. This is for abundance and prosperity. And then last would be rose quartz and rose oil. And this is if you are trying to manifest love and peace or healing. Something else that you can bring into your space is obviously candles. Um, very interesting interesting story about this video real quick. I'm gonna totally digress. If you guys know anything about Zoe Ariel, I've done a collaboration with her before. She's the sweetest human being ever. She was going to send me something and I think she was just doing it out of the kindness of her heart. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Like, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. And I had this video planned to make today. I really wanted to research more in, about like the moon. Um, so I had this on my planned Manifestation Wednesday video for specifically today. I've probably had it on here for about a couple months. She sent me this candle, but on the back it tells you there's like herbs and gems and crystals in here and essential oils. But the thing about this candle that like shook me to my core and I got chills from it is that um, it's used to manifest a specific energy and when they make the actual candle they use the lunar energy to bless each product. So they use the moon in this candle and when I got it I was like Oh my god, and she's like, I told you you manifested it, and I was like, what? like, that's so creepy. So the fact that the universe sent me that signal, I just felt like this video was like made to be. So I'm definitely gonna put that in my manifestation routine when I am going to be manifesting with the moon. And that leads me to the next one, and anything symbolic that brings you something symbolic, whether that is like a loved one's possessions or like a candle like this that was sent from the universe, um, anything that just symbolizes something for you and you wanna put it in your sacred space, definitely, definitely bring that. And last but not least, you can use incense and maybe sage or something which leads me on to the environment section. So you want to make sure that this is your sacred space. You want it to be comfortable. It has to be free of distractions, clean and clear space to allow the manifestations to flow and to block out anything else that is distracting you. So things like I just mentioned, like essential oils and calming energies, like maybe an oil diffuser, opening your windows. You could do it inside. You could do it outside. Just make sure that you are doing it in a space that brings you peace and love and 
free of distractions. Maybe plants, um, maybe cleaning up your space or even taking a bath and showering and cleaning up your physical body, your salt rock lamp, anything that just clears the energy and that you feel comfortable. The main thing here is that you have to feel comfortable you have to be in your element. So now on to my favorite part, and this is gonna be the phases of the moon. So the first phase of the moon is the new moon. This is where you are going to give the universe and show the universe what you want. You're gonna sit down with your sacred space, whatever you have created as your moon manifestation ritual, write down everything that you wanna manifest. Plant the seed and show the universe what you want. This is the new moon, it's the beginning of a cycle, beginning of a process, and this is where you're going to physically write it out, say it out loud, and just show the universe really what you want. So the second phase of the moon is the waxing crescent moon. This is where the energy starts to build up and it becomes a little bit more powerful. So this is where you're going to add energy and more power into your manifestations. And this is where you're gonna create intentions. What is your intention behind this manifestation? Really dig deep and use that energy from the moon. Journal it out, say it out loud. And then the third phase of the moon is the first quarter or the first half moon. This is going to be your building block. This is where you are going to build on these manifestations manifestations and these intentions. You're going to create an action plan. Whatever list that you had, whatever intentions that you had, now you're actually going to write out or journal or visualize or meditate to your action plan. And focus on increasing your vibration and aligning it with that energy that you want. Aligning yourself and your vibration with that action plan and with those manifestations and with those intentions is going to bring that manifestation quicker. This is the time that you really want to focus on your space because the energy is increasing. You want to increase with it. So putting in your essential oils and your crystals and maybe something that is special to you and symbolic to you, putting out those salt rock lamps, just anything and everything that you can think of that will just increase your vibration. And when you sit down in this space that you just, you just feel the energy flowing and you're just gonna write out your actions, say it out loud, and just start the doing process. So the fourth phase of the moon is the waxing gibbous phase. This is three days before the full moon. So this is where the receiving comes. You're gonna relook at that list of manifestations that you made on the new moon. And you're gonna vividly visualize yourself having it. It's right around the corner, it's coming, this is the receiving phase of the moon. So when you visualize, make sure that it's super, super vivid, use all five of your senses, make sure it's in the present moment, make sure that you're visualizing yourself with the manifestation and just tap into every emotion and every feeling with that manifestation. And go through the manifestation list and go through each one of those. Now it is time for the full moon. This is where I thought like you're supposed to like do the moon rituals. I didn't know that there's all these phases that you can, you know, incorporate into your manifestation routine. So the full moon brings so much energy. This is where it vibrates the fullest amount of energy. And you want to use that to your advantage. So here is where you are going to acknowledge the energy that you already have. This is the gratitude part of the manifestation. You're going to sit down, write down every single thing that you have right here and right now. Acknowledge and feel the energy. You're going to release and let go of any doubt or fear that you've had of manifesting. You're just using this full moon's energy to the full potential and you're really building on that gratitude and abundance that you have right here and right now. So the next phase is the waning gibbous moon. This is where the energy dies down a little bit because it is right after the full moon and this is a time of self-awareness and reflection. Tap into you know those limiting beliefs and those things that come after such a high. This is going to be like kind of your therapeutic session. Biggest, deepest, deepest block and limiting belief. You kind of found what you were grateful for and what has worked for you in the last phase of the moon. So this one kind of brings and shifts over into what you were lacking or what you cannot get. The reason behind that is because there's something blocking you from receiving it and you will find out in this phase of the moon what it is. You're going to go to your past, find out why is this one not working? Do you have a limiting belief, a fear, a doubt that is associated with this manifestation? Figuring out what, you know, is causing this from the past. Maybe visualize yourself in that situation and in those limiting beliefs and tap into what is blocking you from receiving this. And you need to release and let that go. You're just going to take that and as hard as it is, just tapping into it and shifting your focus and only focusing on that, you can find it's not as bad as you think it is and you can release that limiting belief and, you know, doubt that is coming from that past experience or whatnot. And then you can also shift your energy back over to what you do have and what you're grateful for. And that doesn't always mean your manifestations. That could be your failures, things that you've learned, your growth. Which brings me to the last quarter, the last half moon. Moon. This is the action phase. So in the last phase of the moon, you know your limiting and blocked belief 
underneath like what the root and cause of it is. So now's the time to break it down and release it. And also because the energy is improving a little bit from the last phase of the moon, you can use this block or limiting belief and change it over to the positive. Change the statement over to positive affirmations. How can you use that negative block or limiting belief to your advantage and change it into something that pushes and drives you more? This is the phase of the moon where you're able to do that and you think more positively about that. And you're going to take action to that. You're going to journal about it, increase your behavior around that limiting belief, change the limiting belief to like positive affirmations, and then overall just change your focus and shift and behavior about that limiting belief. You don't want to just completely forget about it because that is not really getting to the root and cause of the problem and fixing it and using it to your advantage. And lastly would be the waning crescent moon. This is 72 hours before the new moon, the new new moon. And this is where you're going to empty all of that negative energy and create a great energy for the next new moon. You're going to release anything that you've had, doubt, fear, anxiety, um, maybe the manifestation itself, just release and trust. This is the trusting part of the phase of the moon. Release, let go, and create space for that spiritual self and a list of new manifestations. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want me to do like my personal manifestation moon ritual, let me know. That would be something I'm kind of interested in. And I was actually going to do that this Friday, but that's a full moon. I kind of want to start with the new moon phase. I want to create like a little space for my manifestations. Somebody actually told me that the little desk area, if you guys watch my apartment tour, in my space should be like my manifestation little section. And I love that idea. I actually ended up putting this candle there and I'm gonna kind of create a space there. And I think that's where I'm gonna do all of my journaling and stuff for my moon manifestations. It's definitely something I wanna incorporate in my life. Even if like you guys don't really believe in that, you think it's a bunch of hocus pocus, just the fact of like really diving deep into yourself and your spirituality and improving yourself for the better, I think is what I personally would love to benefit from. So even if you don't believe in the whole moon and energy and stuff behind it, um, it's definitely a spiritual therapy for yourself and you're really focusing on yourself and you know, being able to become more self-aware is a great, great thing. So yeah, I just really thought it was a great video topic and I'm really interested in it. And I'll let you guys know kind of like after I do my first little full cycle of the moon and see how that's worked out for me. If you guys do it or if you guys have already done it, definitely let me know your experience down below. I am so interested. If you guys want to do it with me, let's do it. Give this video a like if you liked it. Comment down below any other video requests that you guys have for me and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!